As a result of the shooting in Allen, June 30th, which resulted in the death of three officers, the Floyd County Sheriff's Department also lost several cruisers and much of their equipment. Surrounding counties and state agencies immediately stepped in to aid the department and keep residents safe. Immediately what happened was um, the night that the, you know, th that Thursday night, um, the Association of uh, Police Chiefs, Association of the Kentucky Sheriff's Association, they pretty much took over our work schedules and they provided manpower from uh, agencies and, and, and sheriff's offices across the Commonwealth to fill in. Now, immediately we had neighboring counties, Pike County, Knott County, the Knott County Sheriff uh, reached out. Johnson County Sheriff came on the scene, Knott County Sheriff came on the scene and they brought their deputies with them. And they started doing the role of me, of what I normally would be doing. Their deputies started doing the roles of what our deputies were doing. Uh, so the people in Floyd County were never unprotected, even though tragedy had, had hit us hard. Um, there was ongoing law enforcement, it never quit. Uh, and it has not quit even up to this day and it never will. It's all in our hands, this life of time. It's given to us all. It is all in our hands. It is all in our hands. Experienced heart specialists and subspecialists collaborating for the benefit of your care. Top 10% national hospital rankings for patient safety in heart attack and heart failure treatment. The technology and skill to perform extraordinary complex, minimally invasive cardiac electrophysiology, interventional and structural heart surgeries. This is a Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. It is all in our hands, it is all in our hands. When it comes to your heart, place your care in our hands. The department has also received an outpouring of support, not only from the community and the state, but the entire country. Uh, the greatest support of all is their love, and uh, they have all, I mean, they have been tremendous, this, this country has, not just Eastern Kentucky or not just Floyd County people, but man, this country has reached out to our guys and to our community and offered their support and their uplifting, I mean, their love, their prayers, their thoughts, their comments, just everything said, and that goes a long way with the families of a love, lost one, you know, to know that they were honored and uh, respected as much as they were. and. Um, for the ones who were injured and, um, and even not injured, but just involved, you know, they need to hear that. They need to hear that the community is behind them. And, uh, you know, we hear and see so much negativity toward police across the nation, but thank God here in Eastern Kentucky, we don't experience that. We have a lot of love um, for our first responders, our police, our fire, and, uh, and it's showed here that even across the country they do. Floyd County Crisis Fund is accepting donations, which will be used to help officers and their families, as well as the affected departments. To donate, go to AppalachianKY.org. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.